Resident Evil 4 What's going on everyone? Metalblade427 here and I present to you my October special of Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we finished up the village section of this game. We went through uh, all the last remaining parts. We beat up uh, the big cheese, Mendez himself, and we made our way to, uh, well, the end of the village, and we're pretty much what I would describe as herded into this castle. And this castle is your next section that you will need to be going through. We'll be introduced to new enemies, we'll be introduced to new villains, and all kinds of other stuff. Yay, lots of potatoes. So before you actually move yourself forward into the castle, there's a lot of things that need to be collected first and foremost. This is like a safe area, minus this thing right here! Yeah, die, snake! Bastard snake, you die. Give me your chicken egg. Love it. But you definitely want to come here and talk to our friendly neighborhood merchant because he has some amazing things on sale that you definitely want to pick up before heading into the castle. So let us talk to him. Welcome. Yay, welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. And it's true, he really does. Let's look into the buy section really quickly before I start doing what stuff and show buying? you guys exactly what he has. First and foremost, he has the attache case, large, a large size case. A 8 by 12, 96 blocks. Absolutely 100%, without stranger? a doubt. Don't even pass this up, buy it. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Love it. Uh, he does also sell now the treasure map for the castle, the entire castle section. You buy this and everything will be lit up for you. If you know where it is, you save 6,000 potatoes, like I do. Um, if you don't know where they are, you can grab it, but a lot of it is uh, in front. There's very few items in the castle that are well, well hidden, but I'll show you that stuff as I go along. So if you want it, grab it. If not, like me, move on. Next, he sells a new handgun, the Blacktail. The Blacktail, I think, is supposed to be, like, your main gun for the remainder of the game. Like, the second you get here into the castle, you buy the Blacktail, and that's supposed to run you through for the remainder of uh, Resident Evil 4, straight through the next section and whatnot. I like the Blacktail. I really do. But I'm really going to be doing a Red 9 run this time, because the exclusive for the Red 9 powers it up to shotgun status, whereas the Blacktail exclusive powers it up to, um, I want to say, like, 4 or 5. 5 power, not as much as the Red Tail, uh, Red 9 at all. Um, the main thing the Black Tail gets is the firing speed. You can power out a bunch of bullets in one shot, you know, really quickly, but it burns through bullets quickly. I mean, in a game that you need to be conscious of your inventory, then the Black Tail is kind of a waste here and there. So I, I usually I have beaten the game with it, but for this particular run, we're going to go Red 9 all the way. He sells the Broken Butterfly, your first magnum of the game. There are two of these that you can get. This Broken Butterfly is the first one, and then the second magnum later. Broken Butterfly, in my opinion, hands down, best of them all. Easily the best, um, best magnum in the game. Why? Because of its exclusive. When you actually give it an exclusive, its power becomes 50. That makes it the third strongest weapon in the game. Right behind something like uh, the uh, the rocket launcher or the hand cannon. Like, it's up there as a massively powerful item. And this is something that I am absolutely going to be uh, maxing out as I get it. But I am not going to be buying the Broken Butterfly right now. Not that it has anything to do with inventory, but there's a free one that I can get a little bit later. So keep that in mind. New shotgun, the riot gun. Woo, start a riot with this pump action shotgun. Fashion at long distances. Of course, it's much better than the pump action shotgun, hands down, but there still is a third shotgun in the game that would be even better than this. Um, it's really not bad overall. It does get an exclusive upgrade of a uh, power of 10, I believe, which is still short of whatever the third one is at its max, but it's not bad. It's a pretty good shotgun. It's a long-range shotgun, so if anything is far away from you, you're still going to get the same amount of power at that than you would um, with the other shotgun. However, it's good for now, but once you actually get the third shotgun, that's the one you're going to want to love and cherish for the remainder of the game. So I will be getting this riot gun. And lastly, he also sells the semi-automatic rifle. Much better than your bolt action because you don't have to worry about unplugging and plugging in a new shot. The bolt, uh, the uh, semi-auto rifle just goes into standard rifle view and then you can shoot things continuously with a good firing speed. Um, the exclusive for this reduces the firing speed to, I want to say, 0.8, which makes it really, really rapid fire in this type of situation. Uh, if you're playing the GameCube, I think it goes down to even 
further to point four, so it's almost like a rapid fire semi automatic uh, rifle machine gun that you have. And it gets pretty powerful. The stats on this uh, raise uh, fairly good. So, definitely something that you want, especially for long range. There's lots of long range uh, activities that you need to use this for as you go through the castle. So, highly recommend this over this any day of the week. Oh, yeah, right. He also sells the mine thrower. This is the crappiest weapon in the entire game, hands down. Even, like, a lot of people don't like the TMP. I like it. Mine thrower, piece of crap. 100%. It is a huge, huge item. It takes up way too much space in the inventory. The uh, ammunition for it is far and few between. It doesn't even do that much damage overall. You mostly want it for an area of effect type deal because once it explodes on an enemy, it hits everything around it. And the exclusive uh, makes the shots a heat-seeking shot and increases the uh, blast radius of the mine. But it, it's so bad. It's so horrible. There's not even any preset drops for the mine thrower. So, I mean, I used to play... Uh, I played with it a little bit the one time, but I, I don't even care anymore. I don't bother with it. It's going to stay here. It's never going to be bought. And that's pretty much that. Uh, he sells some scopes for various items that you have, and then that's it. So, those are his new weapons. Let what us go ahead selling? into our sellable thing and see what I need to get rid of. Uh, shotgun goes. Ah. <laughs> Rifle goes. <laughs> Very good. TMP <laughs> stays. You. Chicken egg I just got. Good, good, good. Uh, of course, we're going to be selling all of my spinels. <laughs> Very good. The Is velvet blue. <laughs> my ruby. Ah. Everything is going to be sold. We're going to have ah. so much. My beer stand. My I elegant am. mask ah. because I have now completed them. They are definitely going to be sold so I can ah. get the profits. Maximum profiting. <laughs> Thank you. And um, that, that's it. What are Go you buying? Get my right gun. All? Nope, you're upside down. There you go. Let's put you right here. Excellent. <laughs> Thank and semi-auto rifle. Um, as far as my upgrading goes for the uh, pump action shotgun, I'll probably be doing a little bit, not <laughs> much, you. just what to kind of bring it up buying? to a better speed. Um, Is that firepower. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on capacity. Yeah, for for the riot gun, I may build up its power just to make it more useful as I'm going Is through the game. But don't expect me to build up capacity or anything <laughs> along that way. It's Thank just a few you. things here and there to make it a little bit more um, useful as the the coming stages come Is about. That <laughs> yes, that goes up. Is that yes, old? that goes up. I'm Thank gonna wait on capacity. And uh, yeah, sure, old? why not? Let's build up firepower. And I think that's Thank it. You. Yeah, screw you, mine thrower. Go to hell. There we are. Come back at any time. And you can expect me to come back multiple times, my friend. All right, now that you went in there and you were able to collect any and all weapons you want, you want to take the black tail? Go nuts. You want to continue with the bolt action? Sure, whatever. But, you know, I highly recommend the semi-auto. Put yourself together, get as many items as you can, and let's move forward. So now the castle itself introduces a new group of ganados. Uh, rather than the villagers, we are going to take on the zealots. And these are the basically the cult members that are part of the Los Illuminados. Pretty much the exact same thing as the ganados. They have the same uh, you know strategies and tactics. They're a little bit smarter and they carry stronger weapons, like a lot of long range weapons as well. Plus they look, I don't know, they look different than the ganados. I don't know if it's like the robes or anything like that or the faces that they have, but they definitely have a distinct look to them. They also come in various shapes, sizes, and colors, depending on the situation that you find yourself in. And we'll get introduced to one right up here. Where is he? Come on. Oh, there he is. Get him, is what I think they're saying. I don't know. We'll actually, get back here because I don't want you getting hit by a fireball. Um, where do I want to go? I want to go, like, here. I want to go up, and I want to shoot that. Because that should kill both of them up there. Yes, it does. Excellent. Follow me. Come on, Ash. Let's go. Run, 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 run. There's a spinel that has uh, appeared here after they hit it with their fireball. And we need to now stay ahead of all of their shots. So as you can see, they've already upgraded in weaponry compared to the village Ganados. They have those um, you know, one-hit kill. Well, they'll, hit, they'll kill Ashley in one hit if it uh, hits her. Grab, grab, collect stuff, incinerator grenade. I'll take it. And then we have this thing. Hmm. It looks like this still works. There's got to be a mechanism somewhere to pull this thing up. Yep, and that is exactly what we are going to be getting. Uh, we need to use that in order to break down the door in order to be able to go further into the castle. Poor Leon thinks that this is like the best place to go right now, but really it's kind of like a trap of sorts set by uh, the Los Illuminados. Oh, I need back up, back up, back up. Yeah, those things get pretty close down. Um, 
Wait. Stay here. Can I can I hit you from here? I know there's one up here. There's one over that way. Ah, uh, go, 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 go. Uh, got it. Oh, he shot it. Go, 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 Leon. Ow. Well, that sucks. Um, healing time. Yeah, that's fine. I'd rather just use one of those and get a quick, easy, full heal before anything else. And I know there's a guy up there. There's also a few, um, what is it? Uh, there it is. Look for the red barrel. Boom. And it takes down any of the guys that are next to, uh, the launcher. Oh, wait, I hear something. Oh, there it is. Did he be shooting from over that way? Yes. There may even be another one up here. No, 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 I killed that one. No, that's the one, that one over there. Oh, crap! She's being taken! Go, 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 you bastard! Get back here! Don't shoot Ashley! Get down! Come on! Follow. Come on, Ashley, let's go! We need to run, we need to run for cover! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Run, 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 run! Yeah, whatever. Shut the hell up. Die! Die! This guy actually has a mask on his head that protects him from headshots. So that's one thing that they're doing in order to make themselves a little bit stronger and a little bit smarter for uh, this section of the game. Yes, I will take that yellow herb and I will do a quick combination. So I'm pretty sure there's a red herb somewhere around here. Let's take anything. Oh God, oh God, jeez. Oh, they're so creepy. Uh, I, I think these guys freak me out the most in this game because of like their chanting and things along that ways. And it's just, they're just so weird and they're so like, ah, uh, anything, anything, anything. I think there's something, oh yeah, that's right, something back here. A random hidden treasure inside of uh, that box. Hey you, get the hell out of here. Leon also gets a new special attack. Yeah, the suplex, awesome. That is like almost an instant kill for any of the zealots, and it only works on the zealots. So wait, you want to um, definitely shoot them in the leg to cause them to drop to their knees, and then when you get close enough, smash them over your uh, shoulder, and boom, down they go. And I know he's there. Oh man, come on, where are you? God damn it, you gotta be quick about this. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Yep, there he goes, he's throwing it. Run over this way. Yeah. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. You jerk. There we go. I think that should be it. Follow me. So come on, Ash. Come on up here. So she's gonna come up this way. Is there anything in here in this little spot now? This is probably where she would go in order to uh Oh, I get to operate it. In order to uh I guess hide from anybody else. But it's best to take down all of those guys around you that are shooting out the fireballs because now you have enough uh, power in order to, or enough time in order to raise up the cannon. Woo, good thing she wasn't standing in front of me. Uh, Ashley will die from one shot of uh, the, the knife that Leon has. His knife is just immensely powerful. There we go, we crack that open. Let's put it back on my kill of the or Man, I'm calling this thing all different types of names today. This uh, red nine, and we'll head off this way. I think the sound is done, so we are able to successfully get through without anything else bothering us. Pretty sure there's a merchant up here. Yes, he is. Do you have anything new from, Welcome. like, the ten feet I saw you before? Got some wow, rare. you do. Yeah, what you are you tune up? How are you tuning up now? Riot gun goes up again. More firepower. Um, it's... Uh, is yeah, that just firepower. That's <laughs> all I need you. is firepower. I don't need anything else. Come back any that may time. even be the last firepower I use to uh, upgrade that thing with. All right, so first step into the castle. Awesome. Kennedy car rentals. Leon, where's your current location? Hell. We decided to lay low in a castle, but it looks like it was a bad move. Womp. Meaning? Well, it appears that this castle's also connected with the Los Illuminados. They must not get many visitors here, because they're giving me one hell of a welcome. Sounds bad. I have an idea, Leon. You don't care, I Onigan. Need what? Oh, wait. Repeat, no, I didn't Onigan. mean it. I'm sorry, Onigan. Come back. Great. Just my luck. Oh, man. Okay, so Onigan got dropped from our conversation, which really, really sucks. Uh, we have a, another one of these little puzzle things here. 
whole book here. We're near the legible. That didn't really matter. Uh, up top, we have a door that we are going to need to be open. And in order to open it, we need to place the swords in their right spot. So let's take this. There's a platinum sword mounted to a gold plate. Will you take it? Yes, we will. We have the platinum sword. We now need to take this upstairs. Stop it. And put it against the platinum uh, little thingy up here. But of course, it can't be easy. Because we have assholes here that are looking to... Uh, do it! Do it! Oh, get back! Screw you! Yeah, yeah, multi kick. Love his uh, his attack. I have lots of shotgun ammo, so I might as well use it. Oh, and here comes some reinforcements. All right, so Mr. Red Cloaked uh, Illuminato Zealot asshole down there actually has a, a rare item on him that I'm going to want to take once I kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Crap, we have. Uh, Oh, I hate those things. That's like the second uh, evolution to the Plagas. Basically, uh, if that thing gets too close to you, it'll do a one-hit kill where it will... Shit, I'm out of ammo. Go, 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 go. Where it will bite Leon's head off. <laughs> Good thing I actually noticed that I had no more uh, bullets in this thing. Oh, that could have been really bad. All right, I need to kill that other zealot who's down there. Are you guys dead? Yes, yes. Good. Let's take, let's take, let's take. Let's take. What's really annoying about these guys is that they have their, their maces, which, well, actually, it's really awesome that they have the maces. I love looking at them with maces. But they're going to swing it, and if they end up hitting Ashley, then they're going to do a lot of damage to her. Get down! Yeah, that's right. Die! Die! I think he's going to pop regardless. Yeah. Oh, crap. Come on. Come on. There we are. Yeah, I think he was meant to pop. Oh, he just gives me a lot of pesetas. I thought he dropped uh, one of the items. That's all right. Am I, am I down to that my little uh, TMP ammo? It looks like it. Wow. See, just burning right through it. Um, any items around here? Yeah, I see some breakables. Some breakables! Boom! Boom! Got that, and we get some spinels. So we're going to be getting spinels. We're going to be getting velvet blues. We're going to be getting red herbs. Wait, follow me. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. I would like to take this red herb and slap it into here, and this way I can increase Leon's power again, uh, if need be. I am so low on my handguns and everything. I used to have so many more before coming into this section, but I ain't got to make do with what you got. There's no more... Well, there are crows, but I don't know if there's any crow's nest to shoot down in order to be able to get the uh, random grenades that apparently they find. Which has to be a bad thing. It has to be a bad thing that those crows just willy-nilly fly around and like, Hey, that looks like fun. Let me take this incinerary, incinerary grenade and throw it into my nest. Oy. Gold sword into there, into the gold spot. No more guys are going to be coming up at me. We're going to go up here. We're going to take the platinum one. We're going to throw it into this spot. And guess what? Puzzle solved! Yay! Is there a new thing in my key treasures? No, okay. I mean, there was new things, but it wasn't what I was thinking of. That's okay. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Moving on in. All right. Next section. There's just a lot of room by room areas. What the? Leon. Hey. Lewis. Hey, what's going on, man? I've got something for you guys. What's that? Uh, what? Oh shit! I must have dropped it when I was running away from there. Ah, uh, Lewis. What? A drug that'll stop your convulsions. Look, Say, I know you're carriers. You've been coughing up blood, right? Mm. Yeah. And you? Yes. Damn it! The eggs have hatched. We don't have much time. I know a lot what about are you this talking about? I have to go back and get it. Let me come with you. No. You stay here with Leon. He is better with the ladies. Damn right we are. Sure. Why are you... It makes me feel better. Let's just leave it at that. Hmm. And we'll get a little bit more insight about to what Lewis means by that as the game goes on. And what the hell, Ashley? You're just going to abandon us right then and there to go with Luis? What, what the hell is that about? Jeez. Come on. Let's go. We, we risk our neck to save you. And just because some guy makes some comment about your boobs, you're already like, Oh, I want to go with him. Ugh, screw you, Ashley. Speaking of screw you, get the hell out of here. I'm going to stand right here because there's going to be a bunch of guys that now start to funnel towards me that are in uh, this uh, house right there. 
so yeah, yeah they come Poof. where are you going where did he go get the hell away from me bang 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 oh god shit 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 oh crap crap <laughs> okay fine you win you want to play it that way get the hell out of here oh my god there's another one good thing i have uh, a bunch of flash grenades so we're gonna kill those two guys with uh, the flashbang, and then we'll go ahead and uh, kill them. So the zealots, they are way more powerful than uh, the villagers were, at least I thought so. They're a lot more um, ferocious, they seem to work better in teams, and just overall speaking, I'm gonna his face because I can, uh, they're, they're just overall stronger enemies. Reload this. Uh, and this is just the beginning. I, they, they get so much more annoying, especially when they start getting their long-range weapons, like their, uh, woohoo, suplex, yeah! Took Norris touch well. I should just, like, jump up for joy as I did that. That was hysterical. I love watching these, like, random animations that happen. I was gonna let him in to blow that up. But, um, I still hear them. I still hear you guys. Whoa, hey, hey! I didn't say you could take her. Put her down. Where do you think you're going? Get over here, Ash. How about no? There we go. Excellent. There's still more guys here. And it's kind of going into what I was talking about before when they started getting like their weaponry. There's this guy up here with a uh, crossbow. Die. My god! There we are. Excellent. And he's going to stay up there, isn't he? Yeah, okay, as long as he didn't drop anything. Uh, you may be running around and thinking, okay, so this is pretty safe now, because for some reason in the castle, the music doesn't play the same as it did in the village, at least in certain areas. So, you're going to be running around this way, and you'll be like, oh my god, this is so cool and everything. All right, I killed everybody. But actually, this guy comes at you. Hi, buddy. Yep, they're going to start having things like shields and other forms of protection in order to try to get uh, the best on Leon. Oh man, this is what makes the castle section so, so difficult. And it's a good difficulty spike in my opinion. It's like, it takes everything you've learned from fighting uh, the villagers and just kind of steps it up a notch in a sense. Alright, this is one of those sections where you gotta be really quick to the draw and I think that using um, the Wiimote is much easier. You are going to grab this first, very good. Uh, they're gonna open this up, there's gonna be a key in there in order to unlock the door. As soon as you grab it, people are gonna come into the door right there. So I like having my Wiimote ready, so this way I can run, aim, and shoot that immediately and kill as many guys as possible before they enter the door. You can do this on all the other systems as well, but I just find it easier on the Wii. Why? Because I'm already preset. Got the castle gate key, and go, go, go. Yeah! Did I get them all? I missed one. That's okay. That's usually what happens. Oh, you robe bastard! Get the hell out of here! Die! Come on! Crap! Uh, is it me, or do these guys pop more than the other guys? Or is that just a... Uh, that's just a thing. No! I said no! He also looks really creepy with the... The parasite coming out from his mouth like that. Holy crap, die! Jesus, bro! Man! Give me your crap. That's it? That's all I got from that whole thing is just, you know, one set? Uh, I don't think there's any more guys up here. I hope not. Right? Right? Yes? I'll kill you all! I will. I have a shotgun. I know how to use it. Anybody can use a shotgun. You just spray and pray. Um, y you know what? I'm not going to reload that, because I think it should be coming up on a merchant soon. So let us head into here. It's locked. I know it's locked, Leon. If you checked that, it would have been locked, but now I had the castle gate key. Good thing they just left it arbitrarily in that box. Multiple attempts at trying to trap Leon, quote-unquote. <laughs> ah, what the hell is that? That, actually, my friends, is the introduction to this section's main boss. Remember how Mendez was the guy that was being the asshole to us in the last one? Well, now, this time, we have the vertically challenged one himself. <laughs> there he 
he is. I was now. starting to wonder when you might notice us. Who are you? Me llamo Ramon Salazar, the eighth castellan of this magnificent architecture. I have been honored with the prodigious power from the great Lord Sadler. I've been expecting you, my brethren. Mm, no thanks, bro. My, my, we've got a feisty one. If you care for your own well-being, I suggest you surrender yourself and simply become our hostage. Yeah, how about no? Or Mr. Scott, you can give us the girl because you're not worth a penny, I'm afraid. You can die. Whatever, Shorty. We'll see about that. I'm never turning into one of them. Never. Got that right. We'll find a cure. Oh boy, yeah. So, that was Salazar. Salazar is an asshole. We don't like Salazar. But that's okay because we will have plenty of chances in order to piss him off uh, throughout the course of the game. He thinks Leon is just like nothingness, just like Mendez is. But, you know, little do they know just how much of a nuisance he can be. Because Leon's a dick. He does everything he can in order to piss everyone off. This right here has got to be one of the weirdest sections of the game. So we have... A beautiful decoration, but something is missing. You have three spots. A lion, a goat, and a snake. Three parts of the chimera. For the next... Oh god, I don't even know how many episodes it's going to take. We are going to go in one giant circle and attempt to collect these three uh, guys. It is not that easy. It is not that quick. But it is still an interesting thing. Turn around. Look up. We need that. Because what this thing is... Is a purple gem. Now you may be thinking, oh, you sold your mask already. Why are you getting these purple gems? Actually, there's a little area coming up soon that has uh, more purple, or not more purple, has uh, another mask that I have to uh, put together and collect and all that other fun stuff. So make sure you grab that. Uh, I'm grabbing these things, cracking over bases, hoping for the best. Anything else in there? I think it's just, yep, just a velvet blue. See, they're becoming more and more common. And then this, I think, is, yep, it won't budge. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading through that door and a majillion episodes later, we will be coming out that door. So it'll be one huge circle with many, many traps and tricks and trials and tribulations and Ashley and Luis and Leon and everybody else in it. So there you go. I'm going to save it right here and we will go start our journey around the castle in order to collect the pieces of the chimera in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to rate and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can get equipped with me, MetaBlade427. You guys have a good one and I'll catch you all later.